This segment of Del Marva Life is brought to you by State Farm Insurance. Well, if you're the parent of a teen who drives, like me, you probably don't sleep at night until you hear the car pull into the driveway. And with good reason, State Farm reports motor vehicle crashes are the number one cause of death among teens in the U.S. And a teenager's first year on the road is their most dangerous. You can't make them stay home and you probably don't. They probably don't want you in the passenger seat taking note of every move they make when they drive. But there is a way to monitor their driving habits. And here to tell us more is State Farm Insurance agent Greg Riddell of Salisbury. Thanks for joining us. Uh, We've both me, been Richard. there, you know, <laughs> and, and the, these statistics really are scary, aren't they? Yeah, I was actually talking to one of our actuaries, the guys who make these rates and analyze the statistics. He told me at the time, this was years ago, that the the odds of a 16 year old having an accident in the year they're 16 is over 80 percent. Wow, that's that is kind of scary. Very. So whether you're a parent of a um, someone who's learning to drive or maybe a teen who just got their driver's license, State Farm really has a lot of, of uh, resources like Road Aware. Tell me what that is. Road Aware is a, a computer simulation. It's uh, it's a very effective way to introduce teens to driving in a safe environment so they can get on it. It's probably a little better than a NASCAR video game in terms yeah. of you know getting them to learn what you want them to learn. We're trying to, to focus them on scanning the horizon, looking for oncoming obstacles, making sure that they're prepared when an accident doesn't mean they're going to go to the hospital. Right, so they anticipate hazards and things that might come up. Yeah, we used to call it defensive driving, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, next we have road trips. What is that? Uh, road trips is, um, it, it's a plot. You and I went through this with every time we had to teach our kids something. Mm -hmm. You feel like you're doing it for the first time in a lot of situations. Well, and driving's no different. Uh, road trips is a way to kind of create a lesson plan. So you map out what you're trying to get accomplished in advance lay out a, a specific path to go down so that they uncover all the things they need to do and at the same time then they debrief it and they log it and the nice mm -hmm. part from our, your perspective is if they log all this stuff they've done all the pre-requirements to get a, a substantial discount called steer clear with state farm oh. it's almost 30 percent in maryland okay learn plan drive and log sounds good and, and save and, and save <laughs> yeah save like that part and as we always say there's an app for that state farm actually has an app for yeah. all drivers not just teen drivers yeah driver feedback is really uh, interesting. It's, a, it's an app you can put on any Android or any uh, iPad, iPhone, any device. Put it on the seat beside you, keep it level, and as you drive through the uh, drive that you're making, if you're running it, it'll give you a score for braking, acceleration, cornering, things like that, mm -hmm. on a numerical score from 1 to 100. I actually did this to my son. He was 20 years old at the time, but I got bored as I was going through the trip. I wanted to surprise him with what his score was. And uh, unfortunately, I was playing a flight simulator at the time doing this because <laughs> I was bored. And he's still mad at me for giving him a 12. Oh, yeah, out of 100. <laughs> out of 100. Oh, because you were moving it around. Okay. And then you were talking about saving before. You have another program called uh, Drive Safe and Save. Tell yeah. me about that. Really neat uh, for, mo for young parents, but for anybody, again. Uh, there are some features you get. It's a partnership agreement between us and Verizon. You have a subscription agreement with Verizon that allows you to have this GPS device installed in the diagnostic port in the car. We help you with that. It's really simple. But the point is you get notifications if the car needs to go into the shop. You get a um, uh, help if the car's stolen. They can locate it. Mm -hmm. um, if there's uh, autom an accident, automatic crash notification to the authorities. But from a, from a teen driver parenting standpoint, what's really cool is you can establish an account with them and you'll be able to see where the car is at any given time. You'll know if it's driven outside certain speed parameters or outside geographic parameters ah. that you, the parent, set, you're going to get a text message that tells you where the car was and how much it is. I know a lot of teen drivers are thinking that sounds really big brotherish, but I know an oh, well. awful lot of parents <laughs> are thinking that's good parentish. Yeah, so. exactly. When you're a teen, I'm big brother. There you go. All right. Good it's information. Good for a lot of good resources from State Farm. Greg, thank you so Excellent. much. And of course, if you would like to learn more about any of these tools from State Farm, visit our website, delmarvelife.com, and click on the show tab. Let's go to Jimmy now with more information on other technology that can help us monitor our teens' driving habits. We have done story after story on Delmarva Life about how technology has changed the way we socialize, the way we pay our bills, the way we shop, the way we live. It's pretty safe to say that technology has made life a little bit easier, but now it's even being used to make us safer 
and it's particularly helping parents who want to keep an eye on teenagers' driving habits. So joining us today to tell us how is transportation technology expert Wayne Ward. Wayne, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Thanks for having me. Wayne, really I gotta, appreciate it. I got to tell you, I'm the parent of a 17-year-old myself who just cringes knowing that he's getting behind the wheel and that he's armed with a cell phone and loves to text. What can I do? They do, and I have two daughters that are approaching driving age as well, and, and I know exactly what you mean. So obviously putting, putting the phone in the glove box or the trunk you know, will work, but a lot of people don't have a tendency or desire to do that. So we're bringing technologies to the forefront, such as Drive First, that will allow folks to download a, a simple app that basically blocks texts and emails when the car is in motion. Really? And it's a simple app, it's free, and it enables you to have peace of mind. But just so you know, it's just not, uh, it's just not teenagers, it's, it's parents too. And so it's available to everyone because we need to make sure that everybody's safe. Wayne, how does something like that even work? Well, the, the phone itself, it's a downloaded app, and when it senses motion, specifically when the car gets to 10 miles an hour, it then triggers those text messages to be blocked uh, until which time that car is now safe to be able to receive those text messages. In other words, it's stopped or it's parked or, uh -huh. um, or the person is off the road. Okay, now there's, is there also technology, Wayne, that, that will help us know, that will indicate to parents whether or not our child is driving safely? Oh, oh yes, there's all kinds of tools and solutions we have out there um, that are available not only for, for teenage drivers and everything uh, in, in that category, but for business owners and everybody that's on the, on the road. For example, solutions like DriveCam, which actually has an, a, a dashboard camera mm -hmm. that monitors uh, behavior inside the vehicle and outside the vehicle. Fleet owners, there's products that we can plug in, simple plug and play solutions um, that are not phone based. Uh, with an OBD2 port connector, uh, you know, in every vehicle that's been made since 1996, they can actually monitor things like swerving, hard brake, speeding, right. and be able to provide feedback on how that driver is is uh, is behaving. So that information be provided to a parent, or it could be provided to a fleet owner, so that you know how your drivers in your business are operating. Wayne, has the technology been around long enough that, that we've got results showing whether or not it works? Well, machine to machine has been around for quite a long time. Obviously, smartphones are mature, and these applications have been in the market for years now. They're just now starting to be adopted because of the awareness of everybody wanting to be connected at all times right. and the impact that that has on driving behaviors are now top of mind because every day something you know happens, you read about it. A recent study from uh, the U.S. Department of Transportation said that over 600,000 folks are using their cell phone or device every minute of daylight in the U.S. Wow. So providing technology that can help, the, help those interactions be safer and help folks be safer on the freeways are what these solutions are about. What do you see coming down the pike in the future? Well, there's things that, um, that can be put in the cars, like I said, that, um, that are mostly used for businesses today with uh, in-car cameras. So I think that you'll see some of those solutions come down market to be more consumer oriented. Uh -huh. um, things that will disable the car from being able to be operated if those, if those devices, for example, are disconnected, uh -huh. right? Um, or being able to send an alert. So if you, if you have the application on the phone and it's disabled, sending an alert back, for example, to the parent, you at least then know that the application has been disabled and you can take action. Wayne Ward, transportation technology expert, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Now, if you'd like some more information on some of this technology that Wayne was just talking about, all you have to do is go to DelmarvaLife.com and click on the show tab. Up next on Delmarva Life, get your green thumb ready because it's about to get a workout from redesigning your yard on a dime to caring for your trees so they're full and flourishing to figuring out what plants are best for the sun and which are best for the shade. We're getting a lesson in Landscaping 101. No Marble Life, we'll be right back.